Hey guys, it's me, Olivia, and... Mink? And... The mink Yes, please. Okay. Um, um, today we'll be showing you how to make a berry pie. So without further ado, let's get started. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Okay, so the first step is you grab some really cold water out of your tap. Okay, and then you put it in the freezer so that it can stay super cold because you need like really cold water. So yeah, I'll be back with you when we're on to our next step. Okay, so now what you want to do is grab a large bowl, preferably like this this size and then you want two and a half cups of flour preferably plain flour not cornstarch like this one right here you just buy it from Woolworths here so okay so you just want to open up the flour and then pour in Two and a half cups. Okay, so the next thing you want to add is a pinch of salt. It should look like this. Okay, guys, so you don't want to use a spoon. You want to use a... What's it called? A spinny mixer. <laughs> it's a big should whistle. look like this. <laughs> okay. Okay, so it should look like this. You should just have your bowl and your thing, mixer. Um, and then what you want to do is grab salted butter. It can't be unsalted, it has to be salted because that preferably works better in the pie. You need about a... How much butter do you need? A, of butter. Sorry about any of the background noise. Okay. <laughs> ah! So you want to cut it into cubes like how this is being shown. I'll be back when we're <laughs> a bit ahead. Okay, so now it's cutting them diagonally. So, now you just want to plop them, plump them into the bowl, just like so. I'll be back on my dough. Don't add all of the butter, you should keep about that much, and then you just want to spin it. I won't be showing all of this because it might be a bit boring just watching us do this. So, I'll be back in a little while when it's... Okay, so if it makes this much mess, it means that it's going to keep making this much mess. So what you want to do is use your hands and you want to like, like it, like it's a squishy, you want to like squish it in, knead it is the correct word. Here, I'll zoom in for you guys to see what's happening here. Just like so. So wait till it gets to a really good consistency and then you should use your wixer. A mixer, wixer, <laughs> whatever this thing called, it's electric mixer, got it right. And then you just keep mixing until it makes like a dough base, kind of like cookie dough. So I'll be back. Uh -huh. Okay, part two, still mixing. You want to make sure that you mix all the corn flour, because if not, it won't be working. This is regular flour. Well, regular flour. Wabam. Wabam. This is the time that you want to start using the electric mixer and just do it until it's like this doughy consistency. Like so. He does that. The reason why you don't want to use all the butter is because you might need this, pardon me, for next time. So yeah, don't use all the butter. Save about like that much. Now you want to grab your icy cold water and you just want to put it in. Slowly. Oops. Yeah, really slowly into the um, bowl because you don't want to add too much so that it's too liquidy, but you don't want to add too less. Okay, so now you just 
going to mix it with your hands. That's ice cold water. Yeah, it's ice cold. Um, and then it should be forming this like doughy, what do you want to call it? Play-Doh consistency? Mm. Okay, well, Play-Doh consistency. Back one is done! Okay, guys, so this is what it should look like. It should be coming together like a massive ball. Um, I'm just going to tell you, while he does that, what berries that you can use. So you can use blueberries, strawberries, raspberries. They're the three things, the three fruits we are using. But you can use any optional fruits that you like. So, <laughs> yeah. Okay, so if you want to know where we're following this off, we're following it off this page. You guys make really good food, so that's why we're doing it. Just copy that. Okay, so we have officially done the um, base. So that is what it should look like. Now you just want to cut it in half. We'll be back. A little half. Like so. Um, one has to be big, one has to be small, and the reasons why are because one of them is going to be the top and one of them is going to be the bottom. The bottom actually needs to be bigger because it needs to hold in all the berries. And the top needs to be thinner because it just needs to have enough for like the pastry to go over the top of the pie. So yeah. Okay, the next step is you want to take this bowl and put it on this. Um, bench and then what we're showing here is that you just want to grab some cling wrap any cling wrap and just put one of your halves put the biggest half that you have in this little cling wrap should look like that then you just want to grab another little piece of cling wrap and put your other bauble in there it's like so one two I'm gonna put them in the refrigerator for about an hour Tits for dits. Put them in the refrigerator like so. Okay guys, so that is the part one of how to make the pastry. Um, we'll be back with you after an hour after the bases have actually cooled and made it more harder. So yeah, um, next, next part will be the berry part I'm pretty sure we're making the, yeah we're making the berry part next so yeah stay tuned um, bye we will be going down and getting a lemon because that <laughs> yeah because that is part of our um, thing that we need for our cooking so yeah okay so you don't actually need the lemon, you just need the juice from the inside. So you don't have to have a lemon tree or anything. You can easily just have like, um, um, lemon juice. So yeah. Guys, so we're going over to this lemon tree we have. I don't know if you can see it, so I'm not gonna show you. But it's like this small little lemon bush. And that's where we get our lemons from. Cause then we don't have to hop in the car and go down and buy lemons so we're just heading there i'm trying to get past all the f massive lines of grass so bye guys she doesn't know that i'm filming him comment down below what lemon looks the best <laughs> okay guys so this is the lemon that we picked it's really bright so I don't know if you can see where is it there yummy okay guys so this isn't part of the pie obviously because it's the dessert pie but um we're gonna look at the avocado since we're down here and so then we're gonna go back to the house and we're gonna see if them things are done. If so, it's time for the part two of the cooking with Olivia and Matt. Avocados, avocado, peel the avocado. Oh, it's still on. Hey guys, it's me, Olivia, and... Dad. <laughs> and today, we are finishing off part two of the... <laughs> of the pie so we are up to the fruit part so we are gonna go and do the fruit part hell yeah this is the bowl we'll be using it's hollow 
So yeah. Moving on to the park. Okay guys, so what you'll be needing is a saucepan. So I don't get why you would be needing a saucepan because like oh yeah to like do the berries. Okay, I understand now. Ooh. Okay, so we have our saucepan. And then what else do we need? Okay, so we're gonna need some sugar, salt, some cornstarch, parsley, some water. I'm <laughs> drinking some water. Okay. Why this sugar? You know why? Because white sugar, you don't want raw sugar, you don't want jam sugar, you don't want any other sugar. You want this sugar, okay? You need one cup of sugar. So, there you go. Satisfying. I don't even know if that was showing. Okay, so this is the sugar. You just put it in the big saucepan. It doesn't have to be a big saucepan. It can be a small saucepan. It doesn't really matter what saucepan you have. It just needs to be a saucepan. What do we need? Okay, so we need a third, a third, I said, a third of a cup of water. So as you can see, the water is in there, and you just put the water and the sugar in the saucepan, as I said before. So this, next, you just want to add a sprinkle of salt. There's not actually a amount of salt. You just put it in there, and it should look like that. You just want one cup of corn flour. Quarter of a cup of corn flour. Quarter of a cup of corn flour. <laughs> Now you want to grab a whisk, or you can grab a spoon if you don't have a whisk, but I prefer a whisk because it works better. Woo. So, so far it should be looking like this. If it doesn't look like this, then you have done it wrong and you need to restart because you failed. Okay, now time for the part. You want to put it on 120 degrees. I don't know. 150. No, I'm kidding. Okay. <laughs> Mix it. Wait, I'll, I'll turn the thingy around. Okay, sorry about the sound. It's a bit weird, but you want to just mix it and it should look like this. Okay guys, so we have blueberries, as you might have heard in my last video. We have organic raspberries, frozen. And then we have organic strawberries. So guys, we bought two blueberries because these and these are bigger than the blueberries. So wabam waboom. Okay, so it should be a milky consistency. Just like so, as shown here. Click my fingers and it disappears. Okay, my brother wanted to do a shout out, so. Here's his shout out. Shout out to Who Brown, he said. So, Who Brown, wherever you are in the world, whoever you are, wherever you are, shout out to you because you're my best friend. Okay, guys, and um, I forgot what I was going to say. Okay, so um, I'm just going to do some ASMR tingles for you guys. A three, a two, a three, two, one, what? ASMR. All have different noises for different packaging. Okay, so you want to plonk them in just like so. I'll show ya. <laughs> oh, you can't see. No! 20%. Hopefully, you guys can see. Yeah, you guys can. Okay, so it should look like that. You need to wait for the blueberries to toasty woasty a bit. Because if they don't toasty woasty a bit, they might like not work and they might be disgusting. So wa boom wa bam, yeah. Turn around my nose. Every now and then I'm on my mind. Okay, now for the slicing, wicing, satisfying part, you're gonna need a sharp knife. Oh, not that knife. Sharp knife. <laughs> Here's the tea. ASMR slicing. ASMR slicing. Cut, 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 yeah. So in a, in three, two, one, these strawberries are gonna disappear and there'll be no more strawberries in the packet because I'm a magician and I know how to do this properly because I've been practicing, 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 practicing for so long. So once I click my fingers, 
they are all just going to disappear out of the packet right here, right now, right there, right there. And the, yeah. So a three, a two, a three, two, one, one. It's disappeared. I have magic. Oh my god, guys. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh my god. Oh my lord. <gasps> okay, guys. So I just thought of a good idea. And by good idea, I mean good idea. Like really smart, like really talented. Good idea. Grab this thingy and put it in the hole. And then it. Waboom. Okay, guys. So sorry about the cord. It is in the way. But like, um. We just put my phone on charge because if not, we wouldn't be able to do this video and that would suck. So, yeah. <clears throat> so, your girls and your guys out watching this, you won't be able to see much just because I need to charge my phone because I don't want it going flat at, 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 at on you guys. So, yeah, I'll show you. The really good part, since it is uh, 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 charging. So, wha bam, wha boom. So this is as far as I can go because it is charging, but that is what it looks like. Yummy. It just needs to cool down for a bit. Okay, so now it is time for the pastry to put in the bones. And you just want to like put it around. I will video this so that you guys can see. So yeah. Okay guys, so just a little switch up, little um background. Actually, no, put, put this one. Put this one on. <laughs> okay, guys, so what you want to do is put some flour on the bench. Because uh, you don't want this baby getting stuck. <laughs> okay, guys, so after this, I am going to have to edit out the video. I'm going to have to watch and edit it because... I probably failed. Are you going to use Sony Vegas Pro? <laughs> okay, so what you want to do is just roll it. Rolly polies. So I'll be back when this has been rolled out. It has been rolled out. We're just doing it for a bit more. So, <laughs> yeah. So we're just checking... If this bowl is big enough for that, these are the berries, these aren't all of them. Cause, wait, yeah they are, because them ones are in there, them, 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 them. Well, bam. Okay, so you want to flatten it out until it gets big to fit this bowl. Oops. Okay, this is what it should look like, this massive circle that was just an earthquake. Um, then you want to spray that to make sure that that doesn't get stuck to that, so that that doesn't get stuck to that. So yeah. <laughs> then you want to really carefully um, roll this. Make sure it doesn't break. You need to be really careful with this part because if it breaks, a shame on you. This is censored out. No one can see how this turned out because it might have turned out bad. Okay, guys, so then you want to roll it on to the bowly wonly And then this part, you need to be careful. You need to fold it in without it breaking. And then just fold the sides. Okay, so you literally just want to fold it in. Play do. Just fold it in so that it creates a pie. So I'll be back. You were saying? And chop off all the edges. So with all the excess, you don't need to worry about it. You just throw it in the bin. Or you can eat it, but, like, it's just pastry. So, like, that's disgusting. Disgusting! Oh, my God, the piece just got bigger. You guys, it should look like this. 
should look like that. Turn around my nine. Okay, so what he likes to do, which isn't in the recipe, is... Get an egg. Get an egg, if you couldn't hear him. <clears throat> okay, this is going to be satisfying. Only the white is needed. Well, yellow, white, yellow, white, like so, like so. Then you want to mix it. Like so. A little bit in there. Then you want to put a little bit on your pastry base. A little bit on your pastry base, because you want to make it crispy. <laughs> you guys can stay here. It's not going to be that satisfying, but we can show you dumping in. So in goes the strawberries, and then in goes the raspberries. In they go, one by one, two by two, three by three, and one And then you want to add a bit of lemon juice. Just squeeze some in. And then mix all the berries in. Well, I'll turn them. Mix all the berries in. I'll do this. Love them berry, berry, berries. This filter makes the berries look more brighter. This one doesn't. Yeah. Okay, what's the next step? The berry mixture. Oh, guys, it's gonna be satisfying. Ooh, berry mixture. Yummy, yummy. Let me just do some turns for you guys. Nicely cooked. Okay, then you want to grab your sack. This one's going to be harder than the old one, so yeah. Haha, <laughs> fake crap. Okay, guys, so what tastes a tiny bit better is if you just add dots. <laughs> just a dot of flour. You just need a dot. You can make play dough out of this, guys. Child hazard. Okay, so you want to spread it out so that you can put it on top. I do the purple filter for this because it looks really good. Okay, now you want to do the slicing of it all because that will be the thing that goes on top. It's so satisfying to watch you guys. Then what you want to do is plonk them onto the top very, 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 very gently. So it goes one like in over. Nice. Guys, what I tried on, um, I can't remember what day it was, but I tried strawberries, which is right there, with sour cream. I know that might sound bad. And um, brown sugar. Guys, you need to try it. It actually tastes amazing. Okay. So this is how you do it. You just grab it and then plonk it in. It's called the Nan Berry Pie. <laughs> <laughs> yes, when you go crisscross, crisscross, crisscross. Pie 
my view. Nice. That's gonna be nice and crunchy. How long do you put it in for? Um, about 40 minutes. So guys, you put it in for about 40 minutes. Then you just sprinkle a little, little bit of sugar. And that is the final product. Let's see what Travis thinks. Want we see what Travis thinks? Yeah, let's see what he thinks. <clears throat> Ground pie, homemade from scratch. It's not. Jesus, that looks really good actually. <laughs> Definitely eat all of it. Pizza, 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 pizza. In the oven. At. Oh, none of those dials really do much. It's just only the on or off this oven. <laughs> okay. So, guys, we'll be back when the pie is done. I hope you like this video please give it a big thumbs up like comment and share and don't forget to hit the bell button so yeah um this was actually really fairly easy to make so if you want to you can follow along with us and yeah, yeah. so yeah bye guys